Hello and welcome to this video session. We will deal with the poem An Elementary Classroom in a Slum. This poem is written by Sir Stephen Herald Spencer. He was an English poet, novelist and essayist who concentrated on themes of social injustice and the class struggle in his work. He was appointed the Poet Laureate Consultant in Poetry of United States Library of Congress in 1965. Here we look into the lines of the poem. Far, far from gusty waves, these children's faces, like rootless weeds, the hair torn round their pallor, the tall girl with her weighed down head, the paper seeming boy with rat's eyes. The children are sitting in the classroom of a slum school. They are far away from the wind and sea waves. The disorderly and uncombed hair on their pale face looks like rootless wild plants. The tall girl who is sitting there depressed, she keeps her head weighed down. The boy who is sitting in the corner is very thin. His eyes are bulging out like those of rats. The stunted, unlucky hair of twisted bones reciting a father's gnarled disease. His lesson from his desk at the back of, a, of the dim class one unnoted sweet and young his eyes live in a dream of a squirrel's game in free room other than this the boy sitting in the corner is very thin his growth is blocked and the body remains undeveloped he inherits twisted bones actually he is not reciting a lesson from his desk. He is enumerating the naughty disease of his father. An unnoticed sweet young boy who sits at the back of the dark room dreams of a bright future. Dreams seem to be alive in his eyes. He dreams of the outdoor games outside his dull and drab classroom. He dreams of squirrel playing games in the hollow of the tree. On sore cream walls, donations, Shakespeare's head. Cloudless at dawn, civilized dome, riding all cities, belt flowery, Tyrellus Valley, open-handed map, awarding the world its world. The gifts given as donations and the picture of Shakespeare's head are hung on the unpleasant creamy walls, but they are useless of these children. In the early morning, the sky is cloudless. Dooms of the civilized world shine in every city. So is it in Tyrellis Valley. Music of bells and fragrance of flowers prevailed there. The map of this world is made and reshaped by those in power. And yet, for these children, these windows, not this map, their world, where all their future is painted with a fog, a narrow street sealed in with a lead sky, far, far 
from the rivers, capes and stars of woods. The children are confined to the narrow streets in the slum of the Tyrol Valley. The, the school windows are their world because they cannot move beyond them. They may get a glimpse of the beautiful and tempting world of the rich from the windows of their slum, but will never be able to own this world. Their future is left in darkness. Laid sky is a symbol is a symbolism of hopelessness and despair. The blue sky gives wings to high hopes and dreams, whereas a laden sky is polluted with toxins and smog. These children lead a life of disease and despair within the narrow streets. They are away from the nature and the cities in the picture and the words underneath them are unachievable and far away as the stars. Surely Shakespeare is wicked, the map a bad example, with ships and sun and love tempting them to steal. For lives they slyly turn in their camp holds from fog to endless night. Shakespeare holds no importance to them. Shakespeare is an epitome of a high literacy excellence, but in the slum schools hardly any learning takes place. The world is full of attractions and does them any good. Sun Ships and love are such beautiful things that tempt them to steal as they don't possess them. The slum children spend their entire life striving and struggling for their sustenance in small dirty rooms from morning that is foggy to late at night. Their life is full of misery hopelessness and sufferings. On their slag heap, these children, where skins peeped through, their, through by bones and spectacles of steel with mended glass, like bottle bits, of, bits on stones, all of their time and space are foggy slum, so blot their maps with slums as big as doom. These slum children spend their life raking in the heaps of waste. Their bones are peeping out of their skins. They are undernourished children. The children are deprived of basic amenities of life. Their life is shattered and broken like bits of bottle on a stone. The foggy slum where they spend their lifetime is their real world. Life in slum is worse than death. These slums stalk the world just as the death stalks life anywhere, anytime. Unless governor, inspector, visitor this map becomes their window, and these windows that shut upon their lives like catacombs. If the rulers, the educationists and general public make an effort, the poor slum children can get a better life. The underprivileged should be given proper education and should be removed from their dirty surroundings. If not, the school in the slums will only be there for namesake and the children's progress will be blocked and they are forced to life shut as underground graves.
Break, oh break open, till they break the town and show the children to green fields and make their world. Run azure on gold sands and let their tongues run naked into books, the white and the green leaves open. History, their lives history theirs whose language is the sun. The obstacles that have blocked the progress of their slum children should be broken. They should be allowed to breathe in open air. They should be made to come out of their dirty environment and narrow lanes. Their world should be extent to the sky blue waves rising over the golden sand. They should enjoy freedom of knowledge and expression. The sun refers to the light of education. Hence, proper education alone can improve the lives of these slum children. Hope you understood the explanation of this poem. Thank you, children.